All right there, Kurt's Corner crew. Uh, grab your butt heavies, because uh, we're going to get into it. So I got right here the, it's affectionately known as the Marine Corps Bayonet, the OKC-3 KS, I guess one. And uh, they give this to Marines. Now, uh, I know it's sturdy. It's pretty sturdy because a Marine will fucking break just about anything you put in their hand. Uh, we're good for that. Now, uh, the sheath, very good sheath. It's got three points of contact. There's one in here. Uh, on the inside, there's a clip that keep, pushes your blade uh, against the other side of the sheath. And uh, it makes it so it doesn't rattle around. And, of course, you have the two other clips here. here, and here. Uh, now, this blade is damn sturdy. Uh, but I wanted to teach you a little bit about uh, uh, fighting techniques or styles, whatever. Fucking... Uh, now, hand protection. Hand protection is probably the most important thing if you're fighting. Uh, somebody knows what the hell they're doing with a knife. And they have a knife, and you have a knife, okay? Um, hands. You want to attack that which offends you the most, which would be the weapon, okay? Um, so you want to go after that person's hands that has the knife in it, obviously. And um, what this does is, this knife here is designed to actually fight backwards, like that. Uh, has more hand protection here, so that way it kind of blocks your knuckles when you're when you're going after somebody, you know, blade to blade. <coughs> now, a lot of a lot of Bowie style knives are actually designed to fight backwards. All right, that's what this sharpened swedge right here is. That right there, that's so that way you can still cut just as good as you could with this. But you actually have a, a chance to block other people's blades. Parry, do all that with with this part of the blade, the spine of the blade, without fucking up your edge, okay? Because you gotta use that. You're gonna be using this at some point again. So, what you're supposed to do is flip this backwards. You have a little bit more protection there. You can block blades here without fucking anything up. Still cut. And once you go in, it's designed to pull out and cut out as it's going into the body, all right? <clears throat> now, a lot of Bowie knives back in the day with the D-Guard, because those are some of my favorites, as you'll see later on, um, some of the D-Guards on these guys are, are really where it's at, so... Like in the Civil War, they had uh, these these iron things that, that go around, you know, the, the the handle right here, and that was, of course, to protect your uh, protect your knuckles. But <laughs> a lot of blades from back in the day were completely backwards, so it'd be you'd have the D guard here, and the blade was just made backwards for fighting, strictly for fighting. Not all of them, but there are quite a few. Um, you know, I understand it might stop some of the utility of a knife. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but that's pretty much how uh, how I was trained to do it. And um, that's probably how you should do it too. Especially if you were using the same sort of type blade. Uh, and it works with a lot of bowies. Um, the Muso bowie it obviously has that that spine with the uh, brass or with Donny B's awesome Thing. It's a awesome design. He's got a, a steel spine on here, but that knife is designed to fight backwards. Okay, historically. Now, um, what can I say about this thing? Huh? Can't say too much about it. It's it works, works very well. It's a great knife. It does what you need it to. Um. The only thing I really don't like about it is the uh, the hilt construction. It's not. I think it's a rat tail in this. Um, you can see a little, a little bit of peening right there. I guess where it comes through, but it, I don't. It's not my favorite. I know these things are tough. I know they are, but it's not as good as it could be. If that makes sense. Um, so you know that's a mark against her. Uh, these handles are are damn comfortable though. I tell you that. 
I like that. Whatever material they use here for it, it um, it's pretty comfortable. Now, out here in the uh, the main wilderness that I am in, it gets pretty damn cold. So the coldest night we had was I think it was like negative twenty five. With the wind chill, it was it was negative forty. And um, this thing was just sitting out because you know, if how I live, and the handle you could hear it rattle just a bit just a bit and uh and that kind of that kind of worried me which sort of threw me back on this old knife path and i started looking at you know other bowie knives and i started looking at uh deep edge bowie knives and then i uh started looking at that old war bowie of his that uh be coming here pretty pretty shortly uh, we've also got a couple more knives coming in um I'm doing, like I said, I'm a hunter, fisher, whatever, and I've got a, uh, a Valhalla uh, uh, fillet knife coming um, by uh, Del, Del Strong, I believe it is, and I'm going to do a full review on that. We're going to get some fish, and we'll do some fillets and whatnot on it, maybe do a, a fish fry, maybe do something out, you know, out in the middle of the woods. i got plenty of stuff to cook with out here on the... Uh, on the old uh, Dutch oven, so uh, we'll see what we can do. But all right, yeah, this is this is my review of the OKC3S. Thank you very much.